Welcome back everybody. This is my 60 day, one meal a day check-in video. If you want to figure out how to go from looking like this to like this in just 60 days, stay tuned. I've now done 60 days consecutively eating just one meal a day. Um, I've managed to lose a whopping 24 pounds in 60 days, so 11 kilograms. Um, and I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, 30 day check in video. Some of you might have watched it. If you haven't, check out my channel. Um, it's racking up the views. People seem to like it. So hopefully, you enjoy that video. At 30 days, I basically lost 14 pounds, but I lost most of that weight in the first two weeks. And then I just started to hit a bit of a plateau. I sat down at 45 days as I committed to, to film my 45 day check in video. And unfortunately, my weight loss had completely stalled. I had completely plateaued. So I sat down, I took all the footage for that video. It was a bit depressing uh, for me personally because I felt like I wasn't having any more success with one meal a day. And I put all that footage down and when I went to edit it, I got a little bit sick and I didn't really have time to edit it because I had some work commitments. So I sort of just left it and I was a bit upset. Um, but lo and behold, 15 days later, so 60 days, I managed to stick on one meal a day. I didn't let the plateau affect me. And what happened was I actually found that my appetite kept reducing. So naturally I was doing one meal a day and I was eating smaller meals and I wasn't snacking as much. And I think just over the sheer consistency of doing one meal a day, the weight loss started to occur again. So as I said, I've gone from 83 kilograms down to, sorry, excuse me, 93 kilograms at the start down to 82 kilograms now uh, which is a total of about 24 pounds weight loss in 60 days so booyah that's how i did it too so one of the first things i noticed um, after 45 days as i said i was feeling a bit down in the dumps that it wasn't really happening for me i did get ill i did do some traveling for work and maybe that combination of just having other things on my mind um, meant that I wasn't constantly thinking about food and I was just thinking, well, I'm just going to eat once today and that would be it. And rather than thinking previously, I was sort of thinking I'll do a one hour eating window. You know, a lot of people do that. They'll fast and they'll say, okay, I'm going to start eating and I'm just going to eat for an hour. And that's my one meal a day, but it's not really one meal a day. Cause I found when I was doing that, I'd have my main meal and then probably a dessert. And then I'd be like, well, I've still got an hour. I might just, you know, have a few snacks and have a bit of a, you know, a couple of treats, particularly after Halloween, we had all this candy lying around. So I think that was actually the wrong mindset. And after 45 days, I said, look, I just got to keep at it. And I just got to make sure I'm eating one meal a day and filling myself up. And that's kind of what I stuck to for the last 15 days. And that weight loss has started to um, accelerate again. And I, I broke through that plateau and I'm heading in the direction I want to be, which is fantastic. Um, how have I felt? A lot of people are always, always curious. I don't feel hungry at all through the day. I drink a bit of water and I drink a bit of coffee, black coffee, but I don't have cravings at all anymore. I was in the first 30 days getting those sort of afternoon witching hour cravings. I have none of that now. I just, I just roll with one meal a day and I, I don't even think about eating. Um, like I said in my 30 day video, you get all this time back, you get all this meal preparation time, thinking about what you're going to eat, even having to go and do groceries. I don't really have to worry about any of that anymore. I just sit down and I have my meal. What do I eat for that meal? Um, I always said I was trying to keep it low carb, uh, high protein. And for the most part, I have been. Um, I predominantly just think about having whole foods because that's going to fill me up. So vegetables, salads and generous portions of good healthy protein chicken beef pork that sort of thing um and yeah rather than constantly worrying about carbohydrates and sugars i mean obviously i'm not eating a lot of sugar and a lot of carbohydrate that's just my typical diet plan but i'm not counting the calories and i'm not counting the carbs but i would say if i had to estimate my standard caloric intake for that one meal would be anywhere from 800 to 1500 calories uh, and i thought this was interesting and i did write did talk about it in the video that i never published but i've come to learn that um 
watching other YouTubers, people like um, I'm a big fan of Alan Thrall and, and also like Will Tennyson. He's another great YouTuber who's actually, you know, kind of funny, but he, he also shares some good content. Both of those guys I picked up through watching their videos sort of sit at between 10,000 and 20,000 steps a day on average. And for myself, uh, being sedentary, working from home, working from a desk, I find that my base uh, steps is anywhere from 2,000 to 4,000 would be like a, a good day for me. So I average around that two to 3,000 steps a day when compared to some of those other individuals that I was talking about is really low. So therefore, the baseline calories that I should be consuming needs to be adjusted to, to suit that. Um, and perhaps being consistent with this one meal a day has enabled me to consistently keep those calories at a level that puts me in a deficit and that certainly has and that's achieved that's helped me achieve that weight loss result will i keep doing this absolutely um, my goal was always uh to do 100 days we're 60 days down i think 60 days might have been two days ago i'm just sitting on the weekend to film the video uh i'm aiming to get to 100 i don't think it's going to be a challenge for me I'd be interested to see how much more weight I lose in that time. So yeah, just to round up on those results, I've lost 24 pounds in 60 days, um, which is 11 kilograms. I haven't felt tired. I haven't felt more energetic or less energetic. Uh, I haven't felt like it's been a burden and I haven't had a lot of cravings. Uh, here are some photos of me along the journey. So this is at the start. This is kind of about the midpoint 30 days and this is more recently 60 days. And my goal is to continue to go on to 100 days and then see what happens. Perhaps it will be my lifestyle forever. We'll wait and see.